Former governor focuses on saving California forests from wildfires. As smoke lingered in the air amid another destructive California wildfire season, former Governor Jerry Brown invited a group to his ranch for an urgent conversation, what more could be done to save California's forests from wildfires. The reality of what has become annual fire devastation for the state has become more a part of Brown's life since he built his retirement home on a stretch of land where his great-grandfather settled in the 1850s, about 60 miles northwest of Sacramento, the wooded area is at greater fire risk than places he's lived before. Some small ones have cropped nearby and more destructive blazes have come within about 10 miles. When Brown convened the group of about 20 scientists, fire experts, forest product executives and others regularly engaged in discussion of wildfires, he'd recently spoken to a climate expert who warned California's forests could burn up within two decades. That kind of gets me thinking that this is not business as usual, Brown told the Associated Press in an interview. This is a big, overarching threat to California. They produced a two-page document, dubbed the Venado Declaration, after the name of the area where Brown's land sits. Among its central conclusions, it's time to shift the fire paradigm from one of suppression and exclusion, to one of stewardship and adaptation. That's followed by seven urgent actions including a call for an extraordinary increase in spending on preemptive fire measures, $5 billion from public and private funds, more than three times what already is a record $1.5 billion Newsom put toward forest management this year amid a massive budget surplus. Wildfires have become fiercer and more destructive with climate change. Brown's group arrived at the spending figure because it's roughly what the state and federal government spent fighting fires in the state last year. Other suggestions include building more biomass facilities and sawmills to process harvested trees, training more workers in forest management and reforming state and federal environmental laws, though the group offered few specifics. Brian Nowicki of the Center for Biological Diversity said he was concerned about the involvement of several people with ties to the U.S. Forest Service, which his group sees as derelict in their stewardship.